hello friends welcome back to my kitchen today we are making sweet potato muffins and we'll go straight ahead to our ingredients which are these are our ingredients here we have two cups of rolled oats you can choose to convert them to flour or leave them like that or you can grind them coarsely here we have one cup of sweet potato which is cooked and mashed here we have dates which we have soaked in water um, here we have soy milk we have dissolved some jaggery inside here we have black stock molasses chia seeds we have ginger powder cardamom powder and herbal salt and lastly we have ground flax meal or flax seeds yeah so we have a blender here which we'll use to grind our wet ingredients and our bowl where we'll mix our uh, pro our ingredients begin by putting our soy milk into the blender followed by our sweet potato which is cooked and mashed then this will be followed by our soaked dates and lastly we'll add our chia seeds chia seeds is to thicken the wet ingredients so we'll blend this and after blending we'll mix this to our dry ingredients so while this is blending i wish to tell you that dates are rich in iron oats are very high in fiber chia seeds and flax seeds are very rich in omega-3 which are beneficial for our health so here is the mixture after blending while that is resting we'll mix our dry ingredients remember i told you you can convert this to flour or you can leave it like that or you can use quick oats instead i just love them when whole um so those are the dry ingredients mix them this is a fiber rich recipe and this is one way in which you can incorporate sweet potatoes in your diet um add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients you notice that you're not using any raising agent um you can choose to add a good baking powder with no aluminium and that will not destroy the thiamine the b1 vitamins and the b2 vitamins in your system so mix this and mix gently do not over mix just be gentle with it and after mixing allow it to sit for 15 minutes before you transfer to your baking dish allowing it to sit just gives um the oats the time to be able to absorb the moisture from the wet ingredients so here we're ready to bake them for 30 minutes at a preheated oven of 180 degrees celsius and this is how they have come out um remember when you eat this eat this to the glory of god if you like this recipe please give it a thumbs up try it and share with me maybe how you modified it to suit your taste this is how it looks it is having a wonderful texture inside and may you be a channel of light where the lord has placed you to be have a blessed sunday Bye. See you again on Wednesday.